you know how that goes. <laughs> what, yeah. What are you no, into? That's, that's, no, that's a good thing. What's that? What are you into? Like uh, sports, art? Yeah. Um, well, uh, yeah, besides music, um, yeah, I am into art. My sister um, is an artist, my older sister, so um, we're talking about collaborating on some projects um, later in the year when I get some time. Um, but also, uh, this is kind of random for a Canadian. I am, like, actually a big NFL fan. Oh, yes. So, what? yeah, so when the season starts, I'm kind of, like, trying to, you know, if I'm not on the road, I'm trying to find time to watch watch the, the Pats game. What? Time I can. You said Pat- Patriots? Uh, yeah, I oh. know. It's, they're, like, the most hated team in the world. But that's my team. Listen, I'm a Buffalo Bill fan. And there's probably only one Bills fan in, in <laughs> California besides me. Um, and I have a... A disdain for them. I hate those guys. It, oh, of course. It, they've been whooping our ass for like ten years. I can't handle it no more. I know. It's probably even more than well, ten years I, since probably sixteen years. Yeah, I used to like the Bills when I was a kid. You know, because um, they're the closest team to Toronto. Yeah. Um, so I, I used to follow them back in the Jim Kelly days, but I don't know. I kind of kind of switched in college, so oh. we, we would have had something in common uh, a few few years ago. No, as soon as I read you're from uh, from Canada, I was like, yes, there's a chance that this guy's a Bills fan if he's not super uber into hockey. Yeah, well, yeah, most of the fans into hockey. And then um, Izzy is from Wisconsin, so she's a Packers fan. <laughs> How far is uh, Toronto from Wisconsin? Uh, it's not close because um, you have to sort of drive around the lake. Yeah. Um, but But, you know, I think... I think you know Wisconsin probably has um, more in common with Canada than a lot of a lot of parts in the states. Mm-hmm. Michigan, now, Wisconsin. You know, did she have to get a working visa to work with you guys over there? Um, she yeah, but she had it anyway because she uh, went to school here, so she's like practically a Canadian. Okay. Um, when you guys see like, and just because you're from Canada, and I know it's really having to do with music, but when you see like buffoons like. Uh, Trump and Ted Cruz trying to be the leader of America. I mean, do you guys like laugh at us? <laughs> like these guys? Uh, well, we're fortunate in our in our choice of prime minister right now. Um, it's um, you know we're early days, but um, Prime Minister Trudeau is uh, he's a pretty you know young, energetic guy. We're excited about that. But you know, we we in Toronto we had Rob Ford, right? Mm-hmm. Um, our sort of. You know, uh, buffoonish, drug addicted uh, mayor. So you know, we um, we, we can't really, um, you know, uh, those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, right? We can't really yeah. point fingers at anybody. Yeah, <clears throat> I just thought it was it was pretty silly. Are you into wrestling? Uh, no, like, no, not not particularly. Okay, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty huge uh, WWE guy, and I just thought, you know, uh, you guys are. You guys love your wrestling out there, so maybe maybe I hit on one of them. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't think anyone in the band is. I you spoke earlier about you doing a project with your sister. Like, what kind of art does she do? do? Uh, yeah, Kathleen does um, uh, sort of conceptual art and um, video stuff. Um, so yeah, she works in different media. You know, depending on what sort of idea or she's not, you know, like a painter or a sculptor. It's kind of like sometimes it's an installation, sometimes it's a series of photographs or a video, you know, kind of depending on on what's inspiring her at the time. Yeah. I, I just, uh, <clears throat> the whole art thing, I love it, like to create something. Like there's no better feeling than after uh, you create, you know. I, I mean, I do a lot of art. I do, you know, my, my main art is the radio and comedy but then I love to paint. I love to draw. Um, I, I just love creating. And there is no, like, to me, there's no, I mean, besides the love of a child, there's no greater feeling than that, you know? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's great. What, uh, music, what kind of music are you into at the moment? And what kind of artists would you suggest uh, to, to the listeners? Yeah, um... There's a um, a Canadian artist um, I've been um, really enjoying lately named Ken Lum. He's a um, he's from Vancouver. He does a lot of um, photo conceptual stuff. 
Um, and it's really funny and sad and poignant. And you know, if they're if they're interested in all um, in art and they haven't um, then they haven't heard of Tim Lump, they're they're in for a treat. Um, music wise, I listen to a lot of old stuff. So mm-hmm. you know, if you hear if you hear moments on our um, records that sound like the Beach Boys or sound like Otis Redding or something, you know, that's probably I probably have something to do with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, in terms of contemporary music, I'm listening a lot to this band from Philadelphia called Hop Along. Hop um, along. I really think their record is yeah, Hop Along, like H O P, and then Along. Um, and their I don't know I think their their record is like I don't know the the first like pure rock record that I've really liked in a long time like like crunchy distorted guitars and stuff it's really uh, it really sort of has me playing a lot of air guitar in my apartment <laughs> there's a band out here uh, in, in our area um, who is very similar to that they're called Chief Free and Ayahuasca's mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. they play a lot of rock and it's a lot of like psychedelic rock but it's so pure mm-hmm. and his voice is uh really like rugged like uh it, it's a real throwback to early 90s rock and grunge that that take over um so mm-hmm. if you're if you're interested you know sharing music uh, <gasps> I, um you can look them up cool. they're pretty What's good that name again? chief free and the ayahuascas chief free and the ayahuascas cool yeah i'll check that out yeah cool um who are you m- mostly um uh, inspired by in, in in your music sense like if there's one person who just set it off for you like um, I I want to be like this guy yeah I mean I, I have a pretty clear um, I, I think about Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys a lot yeah. I, I mean there's just something about the way that guy saw um, melody and harmony that uh, is incredible and there's you know uh, there are things in those songs, you know, uh, ways the chords fit together, um, ways the sort of different harmony parts um, interact with each other that are so much more complicated than um, your average pop song or than, than our song, you know, or than the songs on the radio. I mean, there's there's just something that, you know, 50 years later remains amazing um, about all those records. So I think about him a lot. I listen to those guys a lot. Uh, and yeah, he's he's Brian Wilson really is my guy. What is your end goal? With when all is said and done, the, you know, let's say twenty years in the future, and uh, like, what do you hope you guys or you personally accomplish? Yeah, um, you know, it, this might sound cheesy, but I think all I would really like to do is is make music that um, I'm proud of. And, and to be able to keep doing that. And that entails a lot of things. You know, it might um, mean that I also need to make a living. You know, it might mean, mean that, um, you know, our band um, needs to be on a label because that will provide the resources for us to make the kind of music that we want. You know, I mean, but it that's a complicated thing. And it, it means it entails a lot of different things. But I think the main goal is if, like, if we can keep making music that... Um, we're proud of and that speaks to people i think that's you know there's really not much more i can ask for who would you want i i really i I truly believe in you guys so like if there is anyone who can make it 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 is definitely you guys and i'm not just doing that because you guys did us solid and you guys are coming on and i really do and uh, i'm just shocked that that we're able to even talk to you so Soon in the future, you're going to be, uh, the way I see it, if I'm picturing the world in you know, in next two years, you guys should be on top. And when you're on top, you're oh, going to you. gonna be able to pick, like, I want to meet this person, like, of a celebrity, uh, besides Tom Brady, because I'm not trying to hear that shit on this radio show, okay? Who do you want to <laughs> meet? Um... Good question. Um, I think you know. I like. I I think probably Drake would be pretty high on my list. You know, we're both from Toronto, 
you know, both Raptors fans, you know, I think like, uh, you know, both uh, trying to, you know, represent this great uh, Canadian city. I think, you know, if I could like have a beer with Drake, you know, that'd be not, fun. Uh, not the worst time in the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, what do you play on your phone? Like when you guys are waiting to go on stage or, you know, just, you know, traveling, do you have any games you play specifically? Yeah, actually, you know, the band um, all plays this game called Two Dots. Two Dots? Um, the, uh, yeah, two Dots. It's just a puzzle game. Uh-huh. Um, it's t- it's kind of like Candy Crush or something. Okay. Um, and we play it obsessively. Like, I think Izzy told me she just got to, like, level 600 or something crazy like that. <laughs> What's the end goal to that game? That's what I want to know. If it goes up to, like, past <laughs> level 30, like... In my eyes, it's just too much work for me. Yeah, I think the end goal is to just waste time. I think that's all. <laughs> Mission accomplished, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so you guys have your album coming out. Um, you guys will be in Santa Barbara June 3rd. Um, if it is yeah. at the Santa Barbara Bowl, um, we work hand in hand with them. So hopefully I'll be able to, to be there and, and meet you, you guys, or you personally because i know you perfect and uh maybe shake your hand and absolutely it'll be uh it'll be a a great time um yeah uh, do you guys plan on going on tour with any specific act um we do yeah we um i don't know where all of us are are such sort of fans of different bands and we have a few things lined up. I don't know if there's anything that I can uh, that's announced yet. Disclose, so yeah. Probably can't is. say. It. But there's um, there's a there's stuff happening that that we're all excited about. So that's that's great too. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stay tuned for that one. We're looking very forward to it. Um, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This was also uh, this interview. We're gonna transcribe it into. Um, the May episode or edition of No Cover Magazine. We're gonna put an article in there. We're gonna awesome. um, um, promote you guys' album, which is out April twenty second, which is next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday. That's right. All right, man. Thank you so All much. Right, really appreciate it. Um, good luck with your tour, and hopefully, we'll see you June third. Absolutely, yeah, man. Thank you very much. This is this was a fun one. All right, man. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. And that's that. Well, again, I'm at work, and uh, or I just came home for lunch at work, and um, go back to hell. So have a good one. 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 <laughs>